drive in. Now this is a different kind of uh, pink shaded area. This is within the storm now. We're looking at what we call a different uh, product or this is our hail indicator and you'll notice right now we're getting a large hail core that's all on the west side of town so on unquestionably a lot of areas it doesn't necessarily mean from top to bottom east to west north to south this is all an inch and a half but it's a generalization of what's going on so there's probably some pretty good hail on the west side of town we're also seeing clearly this strong line set up once again uh, from a about what uh, Burlington Crescent Springs and then stretching up toward Milford again and our radar over there in Batavia in Claremont County at the airport now that line is going to be pushing off to the southeast and we've had already wind gust report to 60 and 70 miles an hour so that's why we're seeing that intense rain almost going sideways Jen do you want to update us on the ETA for this system yes and what so what I'm looking at here on our nine first warning Doppler you can see it here behind me that strong line of storms is now from Milford all the way down to Crescent Springs and actually past the airport. We checked in with CBG. They are reporting no delays at this point. They are technically on schedule, but now that the storm has arrived, we'll check in yet again. Our producer, Marshall, uh, will probably more than likely give them another call to make sure that things are good and uh, doing well out at CVG. So what we're seeing timing wise, Florence, it is knocking on your door. Mall Road it is barreling down, about to get those really strong thunderstorms on there on I-7175 as you come into town. And speaking of that inter interstate, all along I-7175 right now, you're getting those torrential downpours. We're hearing the intense rain here in the city. I would not want to be on the road right now. This rain is some of the heaviest rain I have heard in years. This rain right now is over that main interstate, obviously right over downtown. The torrential downpours are there. If you can avoid driving right now, please do not hit the road. There is, on, on top of the rain that you're not going to be able to see through, you're also looking at wind gusts as high as 60 miles per hour. It is going... Let's go to our balcony camera uh, and get an idea of the heavy rain that's coming down real fast uh, because, th again, this is rain that... I haven't heard on our rooftop this heavy since I started working here. So there you see our balcony camera. You can see the stop, the, the uh, street lights out there. And I mean, visibility is gone. I mean, you can barely see the cars going there on the interstate, having to definitely slow down. Lots of active lightning strikes. Meteorologist Jason Adams also just stepped uh, near the outside. You didn't go outside. Yeah, no, I didn't go outside, but we've got like? about nickel size hail out there right okay. now. So for it to be a severe hailstone, it's about an inch in diameter. So we're about three quarters of an inch there now. Okay, so almost that it. one inch diameter hail right now happening here in downtown Cincinnati. All right. And so the, what we're seeing here in downtown, Jason, is moving quickly to the southeast. Taylor Mill arriving at 501 so three minutes at the most it may already be there at this point independence you're looking at 504 batavia at 505 alexandria at 508 williamsburg 512 and then out to california there on the east side or southeast of the city 515 new harmony you're about the same time you're a trooper by the way you're a trooper i see you doing that every once well, in a while and i know he's kicking so people at home you're are, a, tr a trooper I'm, it's a time for food <laughs> <laughs> i wanted to show folks at home this this shot as well. Yes. Can I tell you, uh, what our producer, we're all tweeting all over the right. state right now. If anyone wants to continue to follow us on Twitter, but uh, reports of hail in East Walnut Hills, and apparently it is really pouring down there right now. Okay, good to yeah, know. In right. fact, we were, I was, uh, guys, if you can, if you'll take our uh, nine first warning uh, weather network uh, for our Cincinnati camera, uh, you'll that. get a sense of what's going on. You can't see downtown. Jeez. The rain is so intense, and in fact, you'll see the rain on the lens. Uh, that gives you one kind of idea and then when we take our what we call affectionately our balcony camera you get the sense of the intense rain that's happening because we've been able to focus in on some of the areas uh, that you can see there as well and you can see the intense lightning field and in fact guys I tell you what let's go to the big board with our nine first warning Doppler Viper system because I want to show there's some rotation showing on this particular storm it's not surprising to see that because of the intensity of the storm that we're seeing now across such an area. Remember just a few moments ago, I was talking about the fact when we see that pink magenta area, and now we jump into a black area that's the next highest level of the intense rain. So in some spots, including downtown as we were showing you, and what looks to be up on uh, 74, 
uh, it looks like it's really coming down even more so. And clearly you can see some of the rotation that might be happening within this storm as well at the upper area of the atmosphere. Now, as we look at it in this storm too, it's important to watch these kind of storms. Obviously, they're the ones that could produce dangerous twisting winds or perhaps even tornadic winds like we had earlier tonight. Well, it's 5 o'clock, and uh, welcome to Good Morning Tri-State. I'm Chief Meteorologist Steve Raleigh. Uh, Chris Riva, Julie O'Neill are at our anchor desk. Uh, meteorologist Jennifer Ketchmark, meteorologist Jason Adams, we're all in, and we're in continuous coverage right now. And the reason why, we've gone anywhere from some real strong storms to the intensity of severe thunderstorm warnings, and unfortunately, we also have had four separate tornado warnings overnight tonight. Those areas in Butler, Warren, and Claremont, excuse me, Clinton County, again, Butler, Warren, and Clinton County have apparently caused some damage up around Harveysburg, Ogden, as well as Martinsville. Uh, what am I leaving out, gang? Any other cities? Um, we had, uh, well, uh, Ogden, Sligo. Uh, Sligo. 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 Sligo as well. Those areas have seen some damage, and in fact, Chris Reva moments ago, and of course, coming up here on Good Morning Tri-State, will show you some of the pictures that we've been able to glean, and unfortunately, a lot of trees are down. There's some... Uh, uh, reports of other damage as well that we're going to toss to Chris here uh, in a few minutes to give you the update on as well as Julie will have the latest news for the morning. We're covering this severe thunderstorm warning right now that's stretching right from downtown and you folks in northern Kentucky, this is going to be your first clip of severe weather. It's going to continue to move southeast and if you're just joining us, it's possible you're hearing some sirens as you're waking up. And the reason that would be is because we've been under a tornado watch all night through right now. And then we're now seeing some severe thunderstorm warning in some communities because of the coupling of those would set off their outdoor warnings across the area. Uh, we're getting this storm now. Jen, why don't we tag a little ETA here uh, across the storm? I've actually got that storm. pulled up on, on. Great. Let's take a look at it. Jen's got the latest on the ETA on some of these storms. Hold it just before we go. <laughs> We're trying to do three things at once here. Here's the thunderstorms itself. You'll notice that they're stretching across northern Kentucky now, approaching Independence. You folks in Alexandria, we're really hot right across uh, uh, Newport and yep, across southern Claremont County. And as we stretch up in through uh, Claremont County uh, by Milford and by Goshen, we're seeing all of these thunderstorms. In fact, it's going to be approaching our radar here. And we're going to go into the cone of silence is what we call it. As this storm moves over the top of it, the cone and the sphere, it doesn't shoot right in the atmosphere. So that's why we have a number of radars at our disposal. So in a moment, and in fact, it looks like Jen's already done it, we've moved over to another one of our radars. You'll notice it's not coming out of uh, Batavia now, but out of Wilmington. So we're seeing those thunderstorms and the very heavy rain. Look at the intensity of the rain now uh, down across northern Kentucky by Crescent Springs and Folks by Taylor Mill, Fort Thomas, Wilder, all of these areas. Look at that pink shaded area all across there. This is a little concerning. Um, that would be again, pull that out just a little bit, Jen, and, and let's get a little lapse rate on this. Earlier tonight, uh, we were watching some of these areas here. Yeah, we're getting some rotation in the atmosphere. I can see it behind me here. Um, and what happens, let's see what else is going on. It's a little bit back toward Lawrenceburg. That looks like upper level. I'm wondering where we stand right there. Tough to, um, tough to see. Go, you know what to do? Baron, you got, I don't see, let me check gate, uh, the yeah, not a lot of um, storm relative velocity. No, we don't see there. any. Don't see any velocity there. Yeah. Let's see back toward here, but it looks like it might be just developing. So we'll watch that. Earlier tonight, we followed uh, one of these areas. Uh, it's sometimes referred to in meteorology as a beaver, and uh, it's a bounded weak echo region. Meaning, uh, if you're just joining us, we described this about an hour ago, maybe an hour and a half, uh, where if you uh, use a blender and the liquid goes around it, it goes out to the side. And so what happens is, is we end up seeing uh, nothing in the middle or very little in the middle. And that's what we're, I'm just a little concerned with right now, but it looks like, um 
Yeah, it's on the back side of some of that heaviest rain, too. So those are some of the indicators that I would look okay. for. Uh, okay, so we'll watch this area, but clearly there's some strong, strong thunderstorms. It looks like the lightning field actually is moving up on the east side and stretching into Claremont County right now. Uh, that area is uh, clearly that very intense and heavy rain all across the east side for you folks in Blue Ash and, and Loveland and uh, stretching into Claremont County. Uh, approaching.